And this is how to eat healthy when you really don't feel like cooking. Hi, I'm Erin, a metabolic health, fat loss, registered dietitian. And lately I have just not wanted to cook at all. It must be the winter, it must be the weather, it must be the holidays. So I'm going to show you how to still make healthy choices even on the nights that you don't really feel like cooking and how to grocery shop and what type of things that I buy for real, regular, non-influencer cool people. And these are the exact things that I also recommend to my clients. So some type of like chicken um, sausage. This is a chicken patty, almost like a hamburger. Um, I love to put these in the air fryer. Um, you can even put them on a pan and kind of chop them up and add some frozen veggies to it. And like they're five minutes, that's a lunch meal. This is a, I like to get rotisserie chicken. This is actually baked chicken breast. Um, I like to have these on hand for those times, whether it's, you know, you're tired, work stress, it's just winter and it's cold and you just really don't feel like cooking. Best go to. I haven't tried this brand yet, but this is Kevin's. I always like to have on hand like an already seasoned type of chicken that I can easily and quickly heat up. Um, it's just gonna make your life so much easier when you just don't have the energy, just don't have the time, desire to season your own foods. Of course, you know, when we wanna think about eating healthy, it's best to make those homemade meals, but like reality is that we don't always want to do it. It's not always the best choice for us to force ourselves to do it. So having these things on hand to have in a pinch is such a good idea. So I haven't really tried this specific brand, um, so I'm excited to try it, but I'll let you guys know. But Kevin's, I know has really good quality ingredients. And I always like to have some ground beef on hand um, because I don't really consider it necessarily cooking, although you know it technically is, but you're really just like heating it up in a pan. It's super, super easy and super versatile. You can add it to hundreds of different types of meals. And then I like to have a frozen chicken or um, protein meat on hand that I can super quickly, easily use. It's usually like a family friendly kind of like comfort one when you're just like super busy and like maybe stressed or anything along those lines. Poly Power, I love this brand. Um, and I like to have these in my freezer. Um, just, you know, pop them in, have a quick little snack lunch plate and like you got protein. Then I also like to have some beans on hand. These are pinto beans. You can throw them on salads. You can throw them in soups and get like a dose of protein as well as a bone broth because this could be a base of meals. You can add this for flavoring. And again, you're utilizing and maximizing the meal and getting more protein in. And then of course, during those times when I'm not really cooking a lot, my green intake is probably pretty limited. So I love to have a leafy green, arugula is my favorite, and I add this in smoothies. So at least it's like, if I'm not gonna be in the mood to make a salad, if I'm not gonna be in the mood to make this kind of like elaborate type of meal, I'm maximizing the nutrients in the meals that I'm doing. So usually during these times, I'm always having a smoothie for breakfast because that doesn't take a lot of effort and you can add a lot of different nutrients in that one meal. I also like to add broccoli sprouts and micro greens to that um, smoothie as well to again, maximize because I'm not really gonna be eating greens and salads. I'm not gonna be making a lot of soups. I'm not gonna be making these you know big dishes. So it's like adding those greens to my smoothies in the morning is a non-negotiable. Having a bag of rice cauliflower, you can use this to make stir fries, throw it in the pan, add some seasoning to it. Like it's a super versatile um, thing to have on hand. It is already pre-riced. I ain't doing that work. Also to Bob Evans, this brand is mashed cauliflower. Obviously this brand um, may not be the best brand, I don't really know. Um, I actually just saw it and I'm going to pick it up and try it and see. But again, something like this, like mashed cauliflower, having this as a side for your dinner meal, all you do is kind of microwave it, heat it up during these like emergency type of situations where you really don't wanna be cooking, you don't wanna be doing much in the kitchen. 
I also like these little packages that already have a package of the exact seasonings that you need to you know, make uh, the potatoes. Of course, you can just use your own recipe, but I always like to have this on hand when I like, I don't even wanna think about which ingredients and herbs go where. And of course, I always love to have frozen veggies on hand. Typically, I'll choose things that are, again, like already pre-made. This is like a cauliflower medley, add some, um, you know, coconut aminos, that could be a soy sauce, I mean, that could be a stir fry. And then these spiral veggie, like little skillet things, it has the garlic basil seasoning or sauce on it. So I like to get a couple that are plain and also a couple that are, have some sauce already on it because again, making your life easier where it's like you don't have to think about those ingredients but like you're still overall having a veggie based type of meal and then for flavors i'll have something like a already pre-packaged like for example taco um any flavors that you like i like to have um already pre-made sauces on hand i love alfredo it's definitely my go-to so i like to use this brand um, and then I have pesto too, just cause like this week I was in the mood to have some pesto. Don't really feel like getting fresh basil, going through the process, making it myself. I easily can do it, but I just don't want to. So getting the canned one. Um, and then I have like a can of tomato sauce so I can, again, use that as basis to make a multitude of different, um, flavors and add those to these dishes with like very, very minimal effort on my part. And then I have these wraps. All you gotta do is just open the bag, heat it up maybe a little bit, add it, perfect you know, wrap for a lunch. I have some hummus for dipping any veggies that I have in the fridge um, as a snack, like baby carrots or mini bell peppers. And then I have some apples because, you know, again, very low maintenance type of fruits, type of vegetables, type of things where it's like, I'm just grabbing and going. I'm not really making much cognitive effort of like planning this elaborate type of meal. I'm just picking up an apple, maybe having some peanut butter. And that's my, and that can be a snack to hold me over before a meal. And this allows me to still make great, healthy food conscious choices during those times where I just don't have it in me to want to cook because hey, it happens to the best of us. We all go through that. Um, and yeah, so I hope that was super helpful for you and thanks for watching.